name's Genesis Guys. I've been a Bigfoot explorer for over 30 years now. Bigfoot has been a part of my life forever. And all I want to do is to see Bigfoot and find out more about him. And to catch the Bigfoot. Also, I would like to touch his feet. That would be pretty cool. I've come here out to mysterious Boone County, Indiana to find a Bigfoot in these very woods because there have been multiple reports of a creature like Bigfoot. Bigfoot is an amazing, mysterious creature that has been around for more than a hundred years. Seriously. According to the famous article, Bigfoot at 50, evaluating a half a century of Bigfoot evidence, sightings of the North American Bigfoot dates back to the early 1830s. The coolest thing about Bigfoot is that there is no determination that Bigfoot is actually a real creature. There are people who say Bigfoot is real, that they have heard the Bigfoot and have seen it. There are even recordings of the Bigfoot that some people claim to be real. One night I was taking my daughters out and giving them like count treats or something, and I saw a Bigfoot, man! And it was like seven feet tall, and my daughter was working at it, and it was like. <laughs> there are also people who claim that Bigfoot is not real. I don't believe Bigfoot is real. I, I think it's just somebody running around in a giant gorilla suit. Who would really think that there's some giant gorilla running around North America? Well, my question is, is Bigfoot real? What is the origins of Bigfoot? And what are the evidentially dating facts that determine if Bigfoot is real or not? Well, that's what I'm going to find out right now. First, if I'm going to try to find a Bigfoot and find out if he's real or not, I'm going to have to know some backstory about him. Bigfoot has been around since the 1800s from Native Americans describing giant ape men with big footprints being left behind. A typical Bigfoot is mainly described as a large ape-like creature that walks kind of like a human and is around six to seven feet tall, covered in hair with giant feet. The feet would be at a length of around 14 to 16 inches. They also apparently have a horrible smell to them. A smell that is described as indescribable to some extent. They are really loudly and it is really scary if you ask me. Tape recorder one time and this is what they recorded. <laughs> It's very bizarre indeed. There are so many stories of Bigfoot that I couldn't possibly tell all of them, so I'll tell only the good ones. Now, the first really big story, what I considered to be the first really big one, was the finding of footprints in 1958. In 1958, a man named Jerry Crew found a pair of Bigfoot footprints near his construction site in Willow Creek, California. This story was huge when it came out, but sadly it turns out that it was just a hoax. Oh my god! I bring up this story because even though it turned out to be fake, it was what inspired thousands of Americans to pursue the dream of finding Bigfoot. Now probably the most the biggest story of Bigfoot ever was the Patterson film. In 1967, Roger Patterson and his buddy Bob Giblin were searching for Bigfoot in Bluff Creek, California. When they found the Bigfoot, they were riding on horseback when they saw a female Bigfoot that was later named Patty. Patterson got out his camera and quickly filmed 28 seconds of what is supposedly the realest footage of Bigfoot. There are also sources that say that the video is completely fake. First of all, people say that the man was looking, purposely looking for a Bigfoot. And there are sources saying that a man named Philip Morris claims that he made the suit that starred in the video. In an interview, he stated that he sold Roger Patterson a suit and later got calls from Roger asking him how to make 
the arms longer and the shoulders bigger. Is, is Bigfoot real? Well, it's a little bit complicated. The only actual evidence of Bigfoot being real are people's stories and films that might be concluded fake and pictures. Pictures and films can be easily faked and people's stories can just not be proved real. As stated in the article, Bigfoot at 50 evaluating a half century of evidence, quote, people are generally poor eyewitnesses and can mistake known animals for supposed cryptids and poorly recall details of the sightings, end quote. So, if it is my opinion, after years of hunting and research, I find that Bigfoot is just too good to be true. I mean, I searched around here all day and I couldn't find him. So, with one more important case solved, I am off to Nova Scotia to see if Chernobyl is in fact not child safe.